Hey guys, Bobby here from AdventuresInWhiskey.com. Today we're going to look at the new Johnny Walker Blunders Batch. Blunders Batch is a line of Johnny Walker blends. Uh, they're one-off lines, which means they'll put the blend together and release it and that's it. I mean, they may revisit it later on as a kind of a standard uh, offering, but so far they've been one-offs. Uh, this is the third in their series, the first one to hit the U.S. market. This is Blunders Batch Triple Grain American Oak. What does that mean? It's made from three grain whiskeys, including some from Port Dundas. So uh, grain whiskeys include corn whiskey, uh, wheat whiskey, barley, or unmalted barley, uh, made in column stills. Um, they're a little bit cheaper to produce. Uh, they're used uh, to a lot in, in blended uh, whiskey to help build uh, or help support the, the flavors of the malt whiskeys included. Also here are two malt whiskeys from Cardew and uh, Mortlock. Um, you'll notice there's no Talisker, or there's no Kalila, uh, there's, there's no, absolutely no peaty or smoky malts in this, which is uh, a deviation from the standard Johnny Walker profile. Um, Johnny Walker tends to be uh, fruity uh, and peaty. Um, and this uh, kind of cuts out the peat. Um, I like that they're telling you a bit more about what's in the blend. Uh, they tell you exactly what sort of grain whiskeys are in and exactly what malt whiskeys are in, which is a rarity for Johnny Walker. Uh, it's aged 10 years, um, and it's also bottled at 41.3% instead of the standard 40% alcohol. Uh, I know it's only a tiny bit, but you know, every little bit helps. Uh, let's give it a go. Uh, I've tasted this already. Uh, I've got notes up on the blog. Uh, if you want to check out, but I figure, what the hell? Let's do something for YouTube. Just as expected. It's very. It doesn't smell grainy, per se. I've, I've had some blended whiskeys that smell very grainy. There's a little bit of that here, but there's also a big vanilla note. Uh, there's there's some some nice sort of mixed berries. There's a little bit of a, a, a toffee note here. And just a little bit of spice, kind of like wood spice. Again, there's absolutely no smoke and no peat in this whiskey. Which tells me they, they're probably looking to uh, engage American whiskey drinkers that are thinking about going to the Scotch world. I know some people are afraid of peat. I'm not. You can see the Laphroaigs behind me. I like peat. How's it taste? That's really nice. It starts off sweet, like uh, uh, candied fruits. Um, you get that nice wave of creamy vanilla, almost like a vanilla custard. Mid-palate, some spices come up. Uh, so a little bit of ground cinnamon, uh, maybe a touch of allspice, uh, maybe a little nutmeg. Uh, there's a nice concentrated honey note that comes in towards the finish. Uh, the finish uh, has a little bit of oak, uh, continues that sort of uh, mixed berry. You get a little bit of graininess um, because of the, from the grain whiskeys. Um, and then it sort of becomes a bit dry. There, there's that there's that nice honey note right on the back end, a little bit of spice, and then it becomes a bit astringent. Not too much so where you want to go reach for a glass of water. Um, quite the opposite, it makes you want to reach for another glass of uh, whiskey, another sip. Um, bottle of this runs about thirty bucks. Um, I generally try to avoid uh, uh, value in my ratings. 
Um, but in this case, I think Johnny Walker's sort of hit the mark here. Um, for a $30 bottle, uh, one-time release, uh, they've done a nice job of showcasing some of their grains and showcasing a different side of Johnny Walker. Um, it's sort of uh, a, a Johnny Walker black minus the peat, um, which I know, again, turns off a lot of people, but uh, those people, those, uh, so I know a lot of American whiskey drinkers, a lot of bourbon drinkers uh, spe specifically, uh, they are afraid of uh, peat. They don't want any peat smoke uh, in their whiskey. And they think all whiskeys, all scotches are peaty. Uh, that's absolutely false. Um, if you were one of these, these, uh, these bourbon drinkers that think this, uh, you're thinking about getting a scotch, you're a little worried. This is a great whiskey to start. It's not gonna break the bank. Um, and it offers kind of a softer uh, uh, palate. Um, it's not this big, bold, uh, uh, full-flavored American whiskey. I know bourbons tend to be, uh, especially barrel-proof bourbons, tend to be all the rage these days. And I mean, for me, you know, Booker's and Elijah Craig and George Stagg, you can't beat them. Uh, but this is sort of a softer uh, uh, beast. Uh, I've got nothing else to say. It's really, really good. Um, uh, if you've had it, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll see you soon.